Hey everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy and I am so excited for today's YouTube video. It's one that we haven't done before. It's one that we haven't experienced together before, but it's one that I feel like is necessary. You've seen me from day one. I've been posting on YouTube for four years. You've seen me grow as not only a trainer, but also as a person. You've been through my highs and you've been through my lows and we've pretty much done this together. So what I thought was really necessary and what I thought would be very beneficial to you as a trainer myself was to go back to one of the very first YouTube videos I did back in the day four years ago. Now this YouTube video I'm demonstrating how I was personally working out at the time my lower body. Now this isn't a video where I'm going to sit here and just take the piss out of myself. I'm not going to rip myself and make myself a comedy show, right? I don't want to do that. Now, the reason I don't want to do that is because yes, YouTube is about entertainment, but at the same time, I started somewhere too. Four years ago, I'm not the person I am today. And my training, my technique, my form, my progression is not the same. So if I had had the Chrissy four years ago in front of me today as a client, what would I say to her? So we're gonna watch it back together. I'm gonna run you through the good, the bad, what I would improve, and as a trainer, what tips I would give client Chrissy, who was four years ago now. So without further ado, let's start the video. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day so we're going for we some do legs together. and booty. Oh my God, I was yes, so nervous recording It's our this. favorite day. Hooray. Hooray! So I'm just starting bitch. off with a quick warm up. Okay. Just some hip thrusts. So I'm going to watch it and then go through it. 30 reps. And, um, you know, you want to get your glutes activated. You want to wake them up. You want to tell them you're about to work. Some leg swings. Okay. Okay. So the warm up isn't bad. It just needed to be longer. If you're hitting your compound movements in a workout, I need you to be spending an adequate amount of time mobilizing your body. So what I did there was I was doing some lateral squats, which is incredible for your hip mobility. But then I went straight into an isolation to fire up my glutes, which was bridges. And then I went back up to a hip mobility movement, which was my leg swing. Now, the way I would now format it, and I would be looking at Chrissy at this point and saying okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with actually five to six mobility routines not necessarily isolation routines so what I would say is keep your lateral squat that's amazing let's do some hip rotation the hip rotational work is so important I'll insert a video right here that you can optimize and do this is also going to help your flexibility in your hips your range of motion and your ankle mobility as well as your hip mobility so I would incorporate that into this routine I would also incorporate just some upper body moves, but only slightly. So what I would do is a deep lunge with a rotational twist, to really fire up my lower back and my back. Because when you're doing any type of compound movement, you are gonna be working your upper body too. So it's important that you warm up your entire body, but focus primarily a little bit more on your lower body. Three movements, I feel like it's, it wasn't enough. I would add, I would actually double this routine. The leg swings are great. Um, leg swings are super important. It's dynamic and yeah I think overall it could have been longer but it's not bad. Now we're gonna go into stiff leg deadlifts. When performing any form of deadlift you need to make sure your back remains straight and your core is engaged. Start off with just 10 reps just to get into the motion. Okay, so instantly right then and there, I've gone into my first set with a load. So I haven't done an unloaded barbell first set. So that would be like my pre warm up to my set. So I recommend if you're someone who's completely new to the gym, or just absolutely anybody at this point, just start off with a very light weight on your barbell or just the barbell alone, just to feel the range of motion and just to feel how the movement feels to you. Looking at this stiff leg deadlift, first of all, I'm overly hyper extending. I'm speeding through this exercise, which could actually leave me to have none of that muscle mind to muscle connection. I'm not really engaging with the movement. I'm just trying to get it done. So what I would suggest doing is here is a video of me stiff leg deadlifting currently to what I was doing 
four years ago. And as you can see here, I'm taking my time. I'm actually focusing on the reps. I'm not overly hyperextending my body, which could cause so much lower back pain. I cannot stress that enough. So what I would say to Chrissy in this point, I would say, okay, what I need you to be doing here now is I need you to be actually increasing the tempo, one, two, three, down, keeping the barbell close to your shins and don't let the barbell hit the floor. Then you're gonna come back up and imagine your heels are pushing back, Chrissy. Great. Then you're gonna bring the barbell up and you are going to scoop your coccyx bone and contract your glutes without over hyperextending. And for you to be able to do this, I want you to keep your chin nice and tucked into your chest and keep your core tight. So the rep range is good here, by the way. The rep range is good. Okay, so I'm looking at my feet placement here and I would say, Chrissy, bring your feet in slightly closer and then externally rotate your feet just slightly outwards. My hand position in here is also very, very exaggerated. It's very wide. So I would bring my hands closer to the barbell. I would also position both my palms facing my thighs and this is gonna actually give me so much more security. Now, another thing I would say is the rep range isn't bad. A 12 rep range to four sets is a safe bet. And also you're focusing on hypertrophy here, which is muscle growth. So if you're looking to increase your muscle, I would recommend a rep range of eight to 12 reps is what you wanna be creating, what you wanna be targeting, sorry. Don't rush this exercise and always keep your head neutral. Don't start looking sideways. Just too much hyperextension, up. boom, coming at the top and really extending my back here. You shouldn't be doing that, too much. That's a heavy weight as well, 15 on each side. Moving on to the second exercise, which is gonna be a drop set split squat. Start off the first set with 10 reps at a light weight. Okay. We're then gonna be moving on to set number two, which is gonna be eight reps at a moderate weight. Sis, are you crazy? Wait a minute. Is that a five and a six and a six and a five? Or is that a five and a five? Is that a six and a six? So I didn't even realize here that I was actually, I think I was doing the same weights. So hold on a minute. I just need to just clarify this. So I'm starting off with sixes on each side and then I'm dropping the weight and I'm picking up sixes again. Okay, so this is how I know I'm looking back at this and I, I can just remember how I felt being in that gym. Like I was recording myself. I didn't really know what I was doing that much. I thought I did. I did and I didn't. I was probably really anxious because I was recording as well and it was a local gym. So pe people probably thought, what the hell is she doing? And I was just picking up weights. So I picked up the same weights. That's the only thing I can think of me doing. I actually feel like kind of sad that I would do that. And also kind of stupid, but it's okay. I am telling you. Okay, so looking at this, the form is actually not bad. I'm actually really impressed with this form. I've always had a thing with working out with no shoes. I don't know why, it's just a thing for me. But this is not bad form at all. You can see my back is slightly lean and a bit forward that will hit the glute much more. If you're more upright in a split squat, you're gonna hit your quads. If you're leaning a bit forward, you're gonna hit your glutes a little bit more. You can see that I'm holding the barbell, the dumbbells completely fine. You can see that my my foot placement is completely fine. I'm not too wide, I'm not too close. We're actually doing good here with the form. One thing I would say though, is I would slow the movement down completely and I would not lock my knee out at the top. I would keep that constant tension. Going to kill you. My glutes were on fire. Yes, of course your glutes were on fire because you're doing how many reps, sis? This is all volume training. This is just too much volume. A split squat is classified as a unilateral move, which means a singular movement. Now, when you're doing a unilateral move, it takes it out on you. That's why split squats are so difficult because it takes your soul away. It takes your breath away. It takes your complete life away. So doing as much volume as I'm doing here with a drop set, I wouldn't personally ever recommend that again to myself or to anybody. So I would focus more on doing maybe 12 reps, 10 reps each leg, three to four sets, which is exactly what you have on the Strong Program on the Tone and Sculpt app. But look, like, I was finding my way, I was learning, I've learned so much since this, this 
period and time of my life. I've educated myself so much. I've gained even more qualifications in the field that I'm in. I've had the privilege of training even more women. So, you know, props to me for even attempting this. This is such a difficult exercise with so much volume and I attempted it and I did it. There is nothing wrong with it. I just personally would completely strip it back and it's not necessary to do that much. Okay, so moving on to the next exercise is a curtsy lunge. So here I'm doing another unilateral move. So what I would advise Chrissy, my client here today, is you don't need to do two uni unilateral moves. If you want to, you can, but you don't need to, especially for four sets, because that's a bit excessive. And it's also very time consuming. So I'm just thinking about the bigger picture here. Adding a step allows for more of a range of motion. There's also nothing wrong with using a Smith machine. Uh, arguably, there's so much opinion out there saying don't use a Smith machine, then use it. Listen, there are literally the best bodybuilders in the world using Smith machines. There is nothing wrong with using a Smith machine. Please just note that. So the box, I understand it's for range of motion. I would have put my foot a little bit more forward. Is this movement necessary? Not really when I've just done an excessive amount of split squats, but if my client really wanted to do it, I would, I would advise against it. But if she really wanted to do it, then I would listen to the client. Super set, which is gonna include a kickback and pulse squats. Okay, so moving on to another unilateral move. So this is just a lot. This is a lot of unilateral moves. I'm in the gym, so I'm not doing a home workout. The reason I mention that is if you are at home and you don't have any form of equipment, if you're just using your body weight or you're using dumbbells, then two unilateral moves would make sense because you need to increase your intensity. But at this point, I was trying to gain muscle. I was trying to figure out the gym. If you are looking for a gym program that is structured and strong on the tone and sculpt out, my program would be absolutely perfect for you. There are literally tens and thousands of women worldwide doing it and the results have been absolutely mind-blowing and the reason being is because it's structured in a way that makes sense you've got your compound moves which are your heavy lifts right at the beginning of your workout then you move over to maybe an isolation or a superset to intensify your workout and inevitably you'll have some form of unilateral move within a week of your workout so to do three unilateral moves in the space of one gym workout is a lot it, it is it is a lot so I would say to Chrissy here okay what we're gonna do is maybe two compound movements at the beginning. Right here, we're, we're calling this grow your booty. So I would say, okay, let's do maybe a sumo deadlift and we can even do another hinging movement, which is a stiff leg deadlift, or we can do a hip thrust. Arguably hip thrust, people have this contrary opinion of whether it's a compound or not, because is it double jointed? Is it multiple muscles, give or take? So I would recommend two big lifts at the beginning, followed by the split squats we did at less volume. The form was perfect in this video. I wouldn't change it. I would just slow it down. Then I would suggest possibly a superset. So a lot of people are hesitant to do kickbacks. I respect that everybody has their opinion, but you know, kickbacks are great if performed right. So here I would say one, I'm speeding up the exercise way too much. Number two, I would personally bend my forward knee a bit more. I would personally, I would actually lean a little bit more forward to isolate my glute a little bit more. But I'm definitely doing this exercise way too fast. Backs, keep your back straight. And raising my leg way too high. It's unnecessary to do it that high. And then when doing pulse squats. So I'm going straight into a pulse squat here. Not to come fully up tension in your legs and your glutes. See? See how I'm like halfway coming up? Okay. This is fine um, as a superset. It's actually not a bad superset at all. I would just personally have added some form of weight to this and resistant and yet again, slowed the movement down and even kept more of a tension by not coming as high. But overall, that's not a bad superset. The workout itself includes way too many unilateral moves, which is a single leg movement, which is unnecessary. I would have added more of a bigger lift at the beginning, not just a stiff leg deadlift, I would have added another form of compound move or big lift. 
I would have focused more on strength rather than just rep ranges. Then I would have gone on to my supersets and my single leg movement. The aim of the game when it comes to strength training is to have variety in your workouts, but keep your foundations and your staples the same. So from this video, I still do stiff leg deadlifts. I haven't changed that. I've changed the way my form is and my technique, but the exercise itself, I haven't changed. So this is a reminder that yes, you can do new exercises out there there's so much content that you can utilize out there but i would strongly strongly recommend to keep your staples your primary focus and focus on bettering your form and technique so what i would do as well is look at this video and see how i'm over hyper extending and remind yourself of how i personally do stiff leg deadlifts now is completely different and that's four years of progression so that indicates to me that if you are a beginner or you're watching this or uncertain about your form it just takes practice and every single single session is an opportunity for you to learn and progress. I'm not looking at this video cringing out. I'm not looking at this video like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed I posted that four years ago. I'm so happy I posted that four years ago and I can reflect back on it with a more grown and mature mentality and say, okay, well, guess what? You made it to the gym when there was a moment you wasn't even gonna be in the gym. So I encourage you today, if you are contemplating, just get your ass in the gym and just do something. Don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. I had, a, I had a freaking camera with me. I had a camera with me. Like, sis, I recorded my entire journey. You've been there since day one. You've seen me go from hyperextending my back to now controlling the movements and lifting heavier than I ever thought I possibly could. And it takes time. So this is why I wanted to go through this video with you because if you're doing any of these moves and you are confused if you're doing them right, hopefully the tips I've given you today has helped you progress. Let me know if you enjoyed this video because I can do more in the future. We can do an upper body one together. How about that? Thank you so much for watching. And please remember your journey is special to you. So don't rush it. You've got the rest of your life to progress and improve. I love you always and forever, forever thankful for you. You. leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video and always support your girl with a thumbs up love you bye